where we are here with the now with Oscar nominated actress Lily Gladstone, who starred in Killers of the Flower Moon. Now she's a new series called Under the Bridge. It's great to have you here. Congratulations on your amazing year. Thank you. For Thank those you so who don't know, me. for those who don't know the story, tell us about Under the Bridge. Well, it's a it's a very well known case in Canada, and it's definitely one that holds, especially the way that we explore it in the series, some lessons that we could adopt and ex examine in the states. And it's about a 14-year-old girl named Rena Virk who goes out with a group of um, who she thinks are her friends one night and doesn't return home. Mm -hmm. and, and you star uh, um, beside Riley Keough. Mm -hmm. And you two became friends on Instagram, which led to this role. Yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, she's, yeah, she slid into my DMs. <laughs> 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 uh, Riley and I had been on the same award circuit and campaign trail for our independent films that we had out in 2017, She for American Honey, Me for Certain Women. And there were some crew that those films shared. So we've always kind of, since then, we've had a, I, you know, I've been a fan of hers. She says she's been a fan of mine. Uh, she started following me a year later. <laughs> <laughs> and then- Took um, a year? I mean, <laughs> I didn't go on Instagram that much. You know, back when you only have around 2,000, 3,000 followers yeah. and that like blue check follows you, you're like, oh my God. Um, so yeah, it was just a, you know, it was an Instagram friendship, tap backs, uh, you know, heart emojis, <laughs> like fire emojis on everything. It's like a beautiful love story. Yeah, it was great. And I really appreciated a lot of the things of, some of the posts that I would make, she would amplify like um, about Savannah's act and uh, mm you know, about Savannah Grey wins, um, and, you know, boosting uh, MMIW awareness. It's like she was very, very conscious about sharing and amplifying some of the posts that You've I was You've really making. both been there for each other. Yeah. Let's take a look at a clip. Hey, hey excuse me. <laughs> look, we're not trying to be unhelpful, okay? Just trying to be honest with you. We get a lot of missing kids around here, you know? Usually it's just girls. So wasting our resources while they're off skipping school. I don't think that's what this is. Has she done this before? Rena? Has she ever run away? Yes. But she always tells me where she's going. She doesn't just disappear. There's been so much conversation about this series, chilling, uh, incredibly entertaining, but you also talked about this a little bit. Radical empathy is one of the things you're using to describe it. Yeah, it's an incredibly difficult case. It's, it's a heartbreaking one, and it's so difficult to wrap your head around when you consider how young all of the kids yes. were who were involved. Um, I think, you know, Riley said it quite a bit, I think because of the age of all of the kids, it forces us to examine maybe some of the social inequities that both made Rena very vulnerable to bullying, but also created this culture of bullying for those kids. Mm. Um, you know, bullies are, are hurt, powerless people, so what are the systems in place that create that, um, what creates that disparity, what creates marginalized people in our society that are both more vulnerable to violent crime but also penalized more heavily when it does happen. Um, so we have a lot of those conversations over the course of the show and rightfully just as in reality Rena's family are the ones who really lead that conversation and I was so grateful that my character even though she's fictionalized she's an amalgam of a woman who was in the police force at the time and um, really just became a, a a representative of an indigenous presence in the story because mm -hmm. in Canada um, and its conversation I think is really worth having here as well indigenous communities have been leading the charge in the um, you know really the practice of restorative justice and that's kind of where we want the compass of the show to point in the end um, as you said this is based on a true story as was killers of the flower moon right. so celebrated um, that that movie was uh, so much so that it brought you an Oscar nomination. <laughs> Can you share with us a little bit about that pinch me moment, that time in your life, and and that night in particular? Yeah, it was it was incredible. You know, something that most actors only dream of. Just being there was 
it was really important to me that, especially because my mom sat by me at the Golden Globes, that my dad got to be with me at the Oscars. Yeah. He's the one ever since I was a little girl with, you know, just a little bit too much exuberant, creative, <laughs> performative <laughs> energy. He, he was always putting that little Oscar <laughs> word in my ear. So it was, it. Um, it was lovely to have him next to me. And I, I know that he had a great time. You know, I've had enough time to, you know, the fuse for celebrity blows at some point. And you just see people. Yeah. So I have already acclimated into into that. Every once in a while, of course, get starstruck. But my poor dad got thrust right into the middle of it so fast. <laughs> was he just blown away? He was sitting next to Jodie Foster. Love, adore. Um, my dad's been a fan of Jodie since before I was born. <laughs> Did you have to get his jaw off the floor? <laughs> well, <laughs> she asked him very, very kindly. So where are you from? And he blanked. He completely <laughs> forgot where we were from. He had to ask me when I got back from talking to Marty. Later, he's like, oh, God, I hope that's just being starstruck and not old timers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's great. a great story. Yeah. Lots of good things to come, too. I know you're going to the Met Gala, so we'll see you yes. back here in New York again in a month. Yes, ma'am. Thank Very you for excited coming about in. that one. That was really yeah. great. Thank you for having me. Under the Bridge is streaming now on Hulu.